in praise of coldness. If you wish to move your reader, Chekhov wrote, you must write more coldly. Heraclitus recommended a dry soul his best. And so at the centre of many great works is found a preserving dispassion, like the vanishing point in a quattrocento perspective, or the tiny packets of desiccant enclosed in a box of new shoes or seeds. But still, the vanishing point is not the painting. The silica is not the blossoming plant. Chekhov, dying, read the timetables of trains. To what more earthly thing could he have been faithful? Scent of rocking distances, smoke of blue trees out the window, hampers of bread, pickled cabbage, boiled meat, scent of the knowable journey. Neither a person entirely broken, nor one entirely whole, can speak. In sorrow, pretend to be fearless. In happiness, tremble. <laughs>